Oh, I thank God for just another day as always. Health and strength. Man, I feel so good. It don't even make sense. And I just thank God for that. But big shout out to my girl, Cameron. And we talking about negative people and positive people. You know what? I like to say this like this. Use them negative people to put fuel to your fire. A negative person never moves up. They gradually goes down. And their job is to hate on you. And when you talk about being negative, you know, when you look at that word negative, it's pretty much a bad word to me because nothing good really comes out of being negative. That's why I don't like being around negative people because after a while, negative people will bring you down. You'll start seeing things their way and after a while, you'll start acting just like them. That's why I always say if you hang around something long enough, eventually you will become it. Because if you don't stand for nothing, you will fall for anything. And I stand for God. And I stand for God boldly. But I like negative people. I like haters. Because I use them as my elevators to move forward in life. Because if you notice a person that's negative and they hate on you, you notice how you keep on moving forward. You, you steady going up. And they are still in the same spot or they done got lower than where they was because while they so busy hating and focusing on you and talking negative and talking down on you, you done got where you needed to get. And you working on it. That's why I like haters. And this sounds funny to people, but I love when people hate on me because people hate on me all the time. People hate on you because they can't do what you do. And when you are helping people and being in the kingdom of God and doing God's work, expect a whole lot of haters. And I'm going to tell you a secret. Most of them are going to be church folks. Uh-oh. I know what I'm talking about, y'all. Most of them are going to be church folks because people envy each other. People are mad because they are not blessed with what you are blessed with. That's why I like positive and I like negative. And that sounds funny because I always compare myself with a car. You know, you look at a car. You got a positive cable and you got a negative cable. I've never seen a vehicle that had two negatives in there, two positives in there. So the reason I'm saying this is, in this life, you're going to have positive people, you're going to have negative people. You're going to have strong-minded people, you're going to have weak-minded people. So when you look at a car, just like our bodies, if you don't put water or antifreeze in that car, that car is going to run hot. If we don't drink water, we're going to get hot. And eventually, if you don't drink water, you'll die of thirst. You can you can die of a heat stroke. You can be in the sun too long and die, just like your car. Cars tear up a lot when they get hot. But I always like to say this, and this is where God come in at, and I'm using a car. Sometimes I just, I use my spiritual mind and I just have fun with it because I look at a car because I like working on cars. I look at the battery. I look at the alternator and I look at the starter. All those things work together. And you know what? Just like we depending on God to bring us out of our storm, that car is dependent on that battery. You know, that alternator is dependent on that battery. That starter is dependent on that battery because without the battery, the starter can't do nothing. Without the battery, the alternator can't do nothing. And see, that's what I like about God. And when you look at, when you, when, when you crank your car up, <laughs> The battery has done his job. See, that's like God. God wants to see what we're going to do for him. So after that battery cranks itself, after the battery cranks the car, it's not, on the, it's not on the battery no more. It's not on the starter no more. They have done their job. It is up to that alternator to keep that car running. Because if you crank up a car and take the cables off of the battery, that alternator is going to keep that car running if it's a good alternator. You can run after you have crunked your car up. But if you take that battery out of that car and cut that car off, that car is not going to start back up. So just like the alternator depends on the battery, we depend on God to take care of us. But here's the thing about God. God don't want to see you sitting down. So when you talk about being negative, you better be positive for God. Because talking negative and giving God excuses, he don't tolerate that. He is not a man who tolerates excuses, lies. So if you look at a car and look at your life, your, your body, they are similar. I've never seen two positives crank a car. 
See, that's why a negative is good in so many ways. You use that negative thing to make to make yourself, to make the good and you come out. Negative people can't bring me down. They really can't. That's why I say in this life, God blesses you with everything you need. And we have so many wants that we don't even look at the blessings that we already have that we need to maintain this life. Because in a car, when you look at a car, you can ride a car, ride, drive a car without a whole lot of things not working. Especially our old school. You know, you can get in your car and your air don't work, but you can still drive your car. Your turn signal might not work, but you can still drive your car. You can put your hand out the window and let people know which way you are turning. You know. You can ride in your car without a system. You can ride in the car without having luxury rims on there. You can ride in the car without having a top-notch paint job. Because as long as you have the main things working in the car, the motor is turning and things are working for the good to keep the motor running, just like God works on us to keep our body going. How many of us have been so sick that we couldn't even get out of bed? I know I have plenty of times. Been in the hospital plenty of times behind being behind your body breaking down. We break down just like our cars break down. We got a lot of miles on our body. That's why you treat your body as a living sacrifice. Your body is a temple. See, you gotta stay positive. When you abuse your body after a while, oh, like I'm talking about the car, what about our heart? When you keep putting all that poison and things in your body, you smoke long enough, eventually you'll get lung cancer. You drink long enough and, and have a drinking problem, eventually your liver start getting wore out. And see, God keeps our heart pumping. Every day we wake up, that's why I say it is a blessing. If your heart stop beating, you are gone. Ain't no coming back. If a motor lock up in the car, that motor gone. See, I like to compare, I like to compare things like that because it's just a, you know, my spiritual mind. You know, but I love God and I'm just here to tell you, especially for the beginner musicians, not just musicians, anything you're doing in your life, when people are negative, hating on you, like Jamal Brown said, I gotta say it again, use your haters as elevators. Keep on moving forward because after a while you're gonna sit back and look on them and laugh. Enemies, people against you, people hating, people trying to hurt you. I love when he say, I will make your enemies become your footstool. I step over all things that's negative, and I love negative things. I hate, I, I, you know what, I, I can say it like that. I love negative things because I love haters. Haters are nothing but negative people. What is a hater? A hater is somebody that hates on you because they can't do what you do. So they criticize what you do when they are not doing nothing at all. So when we talk about being positive, stay positive. Turn your negative into positive if you are negative. Because that's the only way you're going to make it with God and being positive and be blessed.